He is perhaps the most famous Chinese detective since the fictitious Charlie Cowan. He's worked some of the most high-profile cases in the world, and some of the most gruesome. When something happened, an innocent person was arrested, locked up in the jail. He and the family were hope hopeless. They turned to us. We found the justice for them. He's a super sleuth and a pioneer in the science of forensic investigation. The good forensic scientist is truly objective in looking at the facts. Dr. Lee is excellent that way. Born in China, raised in Taiwan, trained in America, and in demand across the globe, he's one of the most celebrated criminologists of our time of modern-day Sherlock Holmes. He's Dr. Henry. Just a three-hour drive from New York City is the home of one of the most foremost forensic science laboratories in the world. It's called the Connecticut State's Police Forensic Science Laboratory, and this is where dead men do tell tales. Yeah, the uh, Discovery Channel. Say hello to them. Hello, folks. Nice to meet you. That's number one. Photographer, forensic oh, photographer. Yeah. This is the lab that Dr. Henry Lee built. Every year, the Connecticut lab sees more than 8,000 cases pass through its doors. All right, that's DNA. DNA person. Oh, yes, yes. Doing lots of important people. Okay. When Dr. Lee took over as director of the lab in 1979, it occupied a room the size of a small closet. Today, it employs over 200 people dedicated to the signs of forensics. There's the real camera. I was wondering. I said that.